Welcome back to my channel where we go from depressed to impressed through beauty, self-confidence, and lots of self-love. I'm a big gal who suffers from bipolar, PCOS, celiac disease, binge eating disorder, and I am a sexual assault survivor. So I know what it's like to be unimpressed with life while having depression. That's why I've made it my mission to give myself self-love each and every day. And I hope through my videos, I can help you too. Today, I'll be showing you how I got this beautiful cut crease look. It's perfect for any holiday celebration that's coming up. I love working with greens because to me, it really screams festive, really screams holiday colors for me. Reminds me of like, Christmas trees. So I definitely wanted to work with some kind of green today. So that's what we'll be working with today. If during or by the end of this video, you find it helpful or find my weird sense of humor funny, then consider hitting the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell so that you are notified when I upload new content. Now, with all that being said, let's go from depressed to impressed. Open up the of course the first thing that we have to do is make sure our skin is taken care of so for our skincare today we're going to start out with our toner and for toner we're using this now i'm not bougie enough to know how to say this so tere mere all right, you're gonna judge the heck out of me for not knowing how to say this. So whatever it says, that's the toner that we'll be using. And I make sure to do this every day, twice a day. I am very faithful at taking care of my skin. We need some moisture in our skin, so I'm using the Nanco Tea Tree Emulsion. I got this in a subscription box, and I, be I believe in a Korean subscription box. And I love it so much because it smells like the spa. And I'll probably say this in every video that I make just because I love anything that smells like a spa because I wish I could be at a spa every day just getting massages. Next thing to help this oil get under control using the Z Skin Shine Control SPF 24. Whoops, put a, a little too much. You trying to tell me something, Earth? That my, my face is a little too shiny for your liking? That I really need extra shine control? I see you. I see you sending me signs. In between, I usually give it like a few seconds to really get into my skin before I apply the next product. Of course, we have to do our under eyes and make sure they are all nicely hydrated and moisturized. So I'm using the Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. Next thing that we're gonna do is prime our face before we apply the foundation. So I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. And I'm also gonna be using the Pore Professional primer by Benefit. I always, always use two primers. I don't know why, but I just feel like it really does like the extra-ness that I need for my pores. And I really feel like it helps my foundation last longer throughout the day. I just feel like it leaves it a lot smoother. So when the foundation goes on, it just magically glides on better. Does that make sense? Once you let that soak into your skin, you are ready to apply some foundation. So for foundation today, I'll be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Now I tested this out in my Broke Peeps Friday video and I absolutely love this foundation. I absolutely love the coverage and just how it sits on my skin. And I totally love the pump. You should check out my Broke Peep Friday videos if you're looking for affordable makeup. All the products that I talk about are $15 and below. All right, let's apply some foundation. I think I put too much on my brush. There's a lot of foundation on this side. So we're just gonna blend and try to drag that all over. Grab some popcorn. We may be here for a while. 
or a whole course meal. Like I said, we might be here for a while. Oh, and I am using my Sigma Flat Kabuki, Kabuki, Kabuki F80 brush. I can never say Kabuki, Kabuki, however the heck you say it. That is the brush I am using. Always make sure to blend the foundation on your neck. I would say the biggest trick to foundation and to have it look completely flawless is to go in first with the brush and then second with your sponge. I'm using the Real Technique sponge. For some reason, I feel like it looks absolutely flawless when you do it this way. It just gives it like that airbrush finish. And yes, it's um, damp. I can already tell the difference. It just helps smooth everything out. Oh yes, today's gonna be a good foundation day. I could feel it. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using two. The first concealer I'm using is the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. And I'm in the shade Warm Beige. Second concealer I'll be using is Be Bright Eliminating Concealer. And I'm in the shade Medium Beige. Let's do some of these. then some of these. For my under eyes, I'll be using a brush. I'm using the Sigma Precision Round P82. And I'm just gonna be really precise with under my eyes. And then I'll go back in with the sponge. Just wanna really make sure I conceal my under eyes. It feels like no matter how much sleep I get, I still have like bags underneath my eyes. How does that work? I drink water, I take my vitamins, I get sleep, I eat plants. What more do you want from me? Okay, and then you're gonna take your sponge and you're just gonna go over it again and then do the rest of your face. And this is where you give yourself a good, good head, you know, good head punch to make sure you don't do anything stupid throughout that day. It's just a, a good reminder. Just kidding, don't do that. I think that's only a Nina thing. All right. I'll stop being weird. Now, to help with creasing, we have to set our under eyes. To set our under eyes, I'm using the Banana Setting Powder. And to set that, I'm using the brush Elf Powder Blurring Brush. I absolutely love Elf products. They're super affordable and very good quality products. Just to apply that underneath your eyes. Who's ready to catfish the world with some contouring? Me, because some of us weren't given, you know, that jawline that really, I wasn't, so who's ready? I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Truffle Match Sticks. I'll just be applying that right about here, 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 and here. Whoops. Don't get that in your hair, children. And on my nose. down here. The brush I'll be using is Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush 56. And just go ahead and start blending that. I like to use circle motions and then also go upward. Just think you are a bad girl and I take on the world when you're contouring. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna steal your money. The brush that I'll be using to contour my nose is the MAC 224 SE brush. Just go ahead, go to town, contour that nose. Don't be shy. Give yourself that nose you've always wanted. And make sure you don't forget down here because I always forget. Alrighty, now it's time for bronzer. I'm using the Hula Benefit Bronzer. And for my brush, I'm using this powder bronzer brush and it is massive. I'm putting that just above the contour. A little bit down here. We're looking warm today. Good, because it is super cold out there. I need to look extra warm because I feel extra cold. For blush, I'll be using Specifica Cherry Gold Highlighter and Blush. I'm also gonna be using the highlighter as well, but for blush, I'm using this one. For the brush, I'm using this Morphe M105 brush. Ooh. Pacifica products are the bomb diggity. All right, I put on a lot of blush, but hopefully it'll 
throughout the day, you know, start to disappear a little bit. But it's all good. It's all good. We're all human. We make mistakes. We're just extra rosy today. To set our face, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder with the brush Morphe M527 brush. To highlight, I'm going back into that Pacifica little duo and I'll be using this Morphe M510 brush and I'm placing that right here. Ooh, yes. Um, a little bit down the bridge of my nose, a little bit right here, a little bit on top of my lips. All right, we are glowing. For eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown. And first, just cleaning it up a bit. I really, really need to buy a pencil because I am not a huge fan of dip brows at all. Just feel like they're really hard to work with. Now I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel and just putting that on my eyebrows. No kidding, Nina. Where else would you put it if it says it's a tinted brow gel? Now it is time for eyeshadow, my favorite part. Okay, let me stop. So in order to do that, we have to prime our eyelids. To prime our eyelids, I'll be using the MAG Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I'll be using this Ofa Beauty brush to apply that. This is what's going to help the eyeshadow stay, to help with creasing, just to make sure all the colors shine. All right, they are all nice and primed. Now we can go straight into the eyeshadow. So I'll be using two palettes today. I'll be using this Morphe Jeffree Star palette, and I'll be using the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe as well. The first two colors that I'll be going into is Wake and Bake and What's the Tea. And I'll be using my MAC 217S brush. I'm gonna be putting this on my crease. And all I did was go back and forth, back and forth into the two colors, an equal amount of the two colors. And I'm just really going to build that color there and just blend, blend, blend until your hand falls off. Right then, if it falls off, how are you gonna finish the rest of your makeup? That didn't really work out for me. So make sure your hand doesn't fall off. You kinda need it. Continue to blend. Now, once you have that all nice and blended, you're gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill palette and you're gonna go into this color. And I'm using the Morphe M505 brush and you're just gonna put that above really build that color there I like to put the colors up on the screen so that maybe you don't have this palette but you can find a color similar to it and try to recreate this look so once you have it like this then you can go on to the next color now going back into the Jeffree Star palette with my lavish tapered blending brush Going back into those two colors, the Wake and Bake and the What's the Tea, and you're just gonna darken up right about here on your crease. And kind of just focus right about here. Then when your brush is kind of clean, then you can bring it over a little bit here towards your inner corner, just to make sure it's all nice and blended. Now going, nice going. Going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette, you're gonna go into that yellow color and I'm still using this Morphe M505 brush for this color. And you're just gonna apply that beautiful yellow color up here. It just really brightens up the look. Once that is all nicely blended, we can go ahead and cut our crease. To do that, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. The brush I'll be using is the Morphe M421 brush. One thing that gives me a lot of anxiety is cutting my crease. So I'm mentally preparing myself to cut my crease. I'm thinking of a mantra in my head. You got this girl. You got this. Don't mess up. If you mess up, this whole look will go to crap. All right, let's do this. I'm just gonna take some on my brush. 
and start doing this. Okay, I didn't die. I managed to cut my crease. The cut crease is cut. This is how it came out. It's not super perfect, but it's, it's doable. It's manageable. Now we're gonna go back into the Jeffree Star palette and going into the color Lynn. And I am using this brush right here. I do not know the name of this because it's like upside down. I, no matter what way I turn it, I don't know the, the Alamar, Alamar, Alamar. I think that's how you say it. Cool. This is the brush that we're using. And that is what we're going to be putting on our lid. By putting a color here, it also kind of helps you really set in that concealer. Now I'm going in with this Morphe Jeffree Star JS6 brush, looks like this. And going back into that color Wake and Bake and applying this on the outer corner. Really gonna try to blend this on the outer corner. Ooh, this gives me such festive vibes, all these greens. Bring it around like up to here. I'm going back into that Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm using this lavish eye shading brush and I'm going into this color right here and putting it on my brow bone just a little bit. Now I'm just going to clean up the sides with the wipe. I will be right back. All right, I am back. So for the inner corner, I'm going to be using this MAC Nylon Eyeshadow. Just using this lavish pencil brush, I'll be applying that. For mascara, I'm using this Essence Lash Princess, my all-time favorite mascara. I'll be using these beautiful lashes today. They don't have a name because they're just in a box with no name box. So I apologize that they do not have a name. This lash is an orphan just put on my doorstep. No note, no nothing. So absolutely do not know the history or the model, the name, nothing. It's just a lash. So this is what I'm putting on my eyes, okay people? Lashes are on. Now we're gonna put some eyeshadow underneath our eyes using this Morphe Jeffree Star JS13, going into the color What's the Tea? And just putting that all along. It's so dark outside, it looks like a tornado is about to happen. Now, second color, going back into that yellow color in the Jaclyn Hill palette using that same brush. Now I'm going to water my waterline. Put some mascara on our bottom lashes. Our eyes are all finished. Now we can go ahead and work on our lips. Lips today, I'll be using the Morphe, what is this, Mega Matte Boy Toy. And this looks really light, but we're gonna be putting another color over it. To line my lips a little bit, I'm using this Morphe M443 brush. Now I'm going to go over this color with a Morphe Boho. It's like a gloss. It kind of has like a pink shade to it. Lastly, we have to set our face like always or else it's just going to go down the drain, downhill, and all your work would have gone to, to crap. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Let's do this. Woo. One more. Oh. oh, I really tasted that one. Don't eat it. Don't drink it. Don't put it in your mouth. 
all right warriors this is the final and completed look like i said before this would be perfect for any holiday celebrations and it was super easy to do except maybe the cut crease might give you a little bit of anxiety gives me anxiety but i have faith in you you can do it just like you can do anything so if you found this video helpful or if you found my weird sense of humor funny don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when i upload new content i will see you guys in my next video bye when i feel like dying the sun